Cooper CPAs, located in the heart of East Nashville, offer a wide variety of tax services for individuals and businesses. Contact them at 615-257-0646 and visit their website, allcooper.com, for a full list of services. Welcome. What's up, East Side? We're Whoa. back. We're, uh, we're here again. We're here again. We never left. And we're nope. here to... Tell Give you the quick rundown because Kelsey some, just wants to talk. She just wants Easter to chomp eggs. at the big. Mm. Chomp at the, the Easter eggs. Chomp at the Easter eggs. Uh, with cooking class, you may or may not be cooking Easter eggs there. Uh, summer concert series. Yes. Uh, 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 people looking for some, some philanthropic good donations. donations for uh, for I got it from Oprah uh, for some volunteers, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna hit up the uh, the list serve. We are. And then we're gonna talk about our business of the week. We're gonna maybe enjoy some soft pretzels. So you know. Keep it here. Don't change internet channels. Yeah, because that's possible. Bandwidth for today's show is brought to you by SoftLayer.com. We love SoftLayer here at Talkopolis. They are the greatest hosting company ever. They make everything easy. Check out their website at SoftLayer.com. Thanks again for sponsoring the show. Talkopolis, the social media TV network for your city. Welp. What's up, kids? We're back. Yep. We never left. Did again. an excellent job of not going anywhere. Didn't change your internet channel just yet. Kelsey, this Saturday at 10 a.m., yes. what do you think What do you think the, the kids like to do, the children? What do you think they want to do? Well, besides um, watching our show, What's Up East Nashville, they probably want to find themselves some delightful and delicious Easter eggs full of surprises. That sounds right. That's actually, that's that you're like it's one for nine today. The right but yeah. thing I've done in my life is identify Easter eggs, which you can go get at the Hop East. Hop East, uh, Saturday again. Uh, that's March 30th. It's going to be at 10 a.m. East End United. Wake up early. East End Methodist Church. I don't know if they're united or not. I apologize. East End <laughs> it might Methodist, be Methodist, disbanded. Methodist Church. Uh, 1212 Holly Street over there on the east side. They're, uh, games. The, the games? The crafts? Crafts. Parade. 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 They most married likely, Parade. I feel like Parade should have been first. Most likely marshaled by the Easter Bunny because he's also going to be Woo! in attendance. The Bunny. Uh, and then there's an him. egg hunt. Mm -hmm. uh, it doesn't say how long it will go, but honestly, it's probably just until, until the kids are sweaty enough to go to sleep or they throw up. Yes. Those are the two times that you should take the kids home. Yes, and it's open to children seven and under, but they must be accompanied by an adult. Do they usually just have seven-year-olds wandering up by themselves? Just drop them off. Um, <laughs> you can't do that. But, no, it's that. not babysitting because, again, you don't know when the kid is going to pass out or throw up or do both, and that's when they have to go home. Or choke on so an egg. So someone needs to be there to take them home when they choke on an egg. Because the Easter Bunny the is first. not giving rides home. He's not hopping to your house. He's just no. hopping at the park. It would be difficult to keep the children on the back, I think. At, like if it's a, a bunny-sized bunny, but the Easter Bunny is usually like a person-sized bunny. It's like you're not even listening anymore. Uh, what else do we have going on this weekend? Terry all weekend. Fest. All well, is it all weekend? It's, no, it's pretty much Thursday, all weekend. Friday, Saturday. Well, Sunday doesn't count. Sunday is not the weekend. It's just a nap day. But is that how they do things in Texas? Maybe. Okay. Terry Fest two at the MD Music Loft, which stands for Mad Donna's. So if you know where Mad Donna's is, surprise, the Music Loft is upstairs. But there's no cover. They Zero make cover a, a on point. any of the days. Zero cover, and it is on the 28th, 29th, and 30th. And they describe it as three days of awesomeness. Brian. Uh, I can't argue against that. Yeah. There's but they're a gonna lot have, of bands. They, we've got at least, what, five musical performers on each day. Mm -hmm. uh, Thursday, it, the first band goes on at 8. The last performer goes on at 11. Yes. Uh, on Friday from 7 and then 1 a.m. is the last band to go on. And then and Saturday. And then on Saturday, 7, 7 p.m., the first act, the first performer. Woo! Yeah. The first gig yeah. of the evening. <laughs> and 12.15 uh, will be the last the last band going on. Which, there are, there's some pretty good acts. I've, I've heard both Magnolia Sons, who are playing on Friday, and Little Bandit, who are playing on Saturday, and they're both like really, really, really awesome. Mm -hmm. And so to get the chance, even just to see them, but as well as all the other bands, I'm not trying to offend you guys, I just haven't heard all the rest of them, to get to see them for free, zero cover, as they've communicated eight million times, is awesome. So you should go and support them. Wait, how much is the cover? It is zero. Huh. And we will put the link to the actual Facebook event below so you can RSVP to see if your friends are going. And if there's like a certain band and you want to know approximately what time they're going to play, they have the whole rundown. So you can make sure that you're there on time. But you should really go the whole weekend. I don't know who Terry is, but he's having a fest. And he's having a great time with it. He is. Kelsey. 
Yes. Uh, I know Sunday isn't part of the weekend, but certainly Monday is part of your extended weekend. Monday is and your on extended Monday, weekend. On Monday, whenever you're finally shaking off the cobwebs, Monday evening when you're shaking off the cobwebs mm -hmm. from, from the weekend uh, that didn't include Sunday, and you're thinking to yourself, God, I'd, I, would love, I would love a home-cooked meal, but I have no knowledge of how to do that. Yeah, all I can do... I know that there's, there's water in a pan, and then somehow the water starts to Magically, shake and bubble, yeah. but I don't even know exactly how that works. Or what you well, put you in people, the water. You people, every other Monday at 7.30 p.m., those of us who have just shaken off the cobwebs and don't know how the magic water oh. gets to be in... Magic water. ...all hot and made my finger turn red. <laughs> um, uh, you, you should venture down, we should venture down, to Mitchell's Deli. Yes, which is one of our former businesses of the week. So this is like their two and for two. And home of one of the, some of the best sandwiches in Nashville. Like the, for real. Never had anything bad there. So, so good. Go eat there if you haven't. But they're going to be the ones that are going to teach you how to cook, so that's even better because it's already delicious. Yes, Julia We've Helton, who is the uh, catering manager, catering mm -hmm. chef, chef manager, whatever they want to call it. Uh, yes. She's going to be giving a cooking 101 class for people that just... They don't know how to do any of it. She said that it's for people who know where their kitchen is located but have never really been inside. Well, I go to the refrigerator to get stuff. Mm, do you even? How do you get there? Do you even know? It's, you just you walk. They're going to start with eggs to and then move on to other proteins. Out? So it's supposed to give you a little bit of confidence. Um, and the in, when you start, the first day that you start is $25. And then from there, you can reserve your spot. And, like, whatever class you want to go to, you can pay on that basis. But yep. you should go. Held every other week. So call to make sure it's one of the weeks that's going on. Yeah. Instead of one of the weeks it's not going on. And then you're just standing outside all lonely. Don't do that. Don't but then lonely. you could go in there and get a sandwich. So really... Maybe you, you could, just, but maybe, maybe that, you should just go by. Possibly that defeat once you walk up there and it's not the right week, you know? Yeah, sometimes but, you're just not hungry anymore. Okay, sometimes you just buy a sandwich for later. Then maybe you just want to walk over to the purse. pharmacy and steal A bills. purse sandwich. I don't know. Purse sandwich. That sounds terrible. Sounds uh, but they, you, you get through these, and in September they're going to start some mid-level classes. Mid-level. So I'm assuming that involves julianning things. Is that a word? Is that a verb? I, I just julianning. Turn... Not Juli I think julianne is like a girl. Julianne is like a slicer. We're not talking about kitchen equipment. We're talking about cutting things. Oh, that's what, what I thought. Are you, are you drunk? No. Yeah, right. Learning to drink 101. Okay. <laughs> Every other Monday at Mitchell's, go and check out your uh, Cooking 101 class, 7.30 p.m. Uh, for you. Uh, and then, then down here, um, we got uh, we got a summer concert series. And they're, they're calling it, uh, what is it, Concert in the 06? Summer Concerts yeah, in the 06? Yeah, the 06, which refers to Three. the... The zip code there. Yeah, I always thought we were just stuck in 2006 and we were going to have just some greatest hits from that year coming through. But apparently, that is not actually it. But it's called The 06. They want to start bringing in headliners and giving local bands the opportunity to open up for a big name. So, if you are a local band... This is an excellent opportunity. This is an excellent... And it's, you should get in early so that, you know, all those other bands that are at Terry Fest, all those other bands aren't going to, like... They're busy. Scope it out. Exactly. They're doing stuff. Now's your time. You're just at home. <laughs> You're just at home. Um, <laughs> it, is, it should be pointed out, uh, the the profits from the show mm -hmm. are going to be going to local 37206 nonprofits. Uh, the 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 reasons for the bands to show up, because it's not going to be a paid gig. Right, Sorry. it's mainly just exposure. Uh, you get the exposure, you get to sell merch, you get a bar tab, which is totally worth a show. Um <laughs> And, and then you an get unbelievable to open opportunity for, to open for well-known artists. They haven't announced uh, any well-known artists yet, but they haven't announced any artists yet. They're booking. The first show is going to be on May 3rd. They haven't announced exactly where this is going to occur, so just walk around and start yelling. Uh, there is there is an email address, the 6 pro at gmail.com. Yeah, and uh, we'll link it below, too. But they're asking email for them. original music only, no covers, with an extreme emphasis, is my favorite part, on danceability. We they want, want people moving and shaking. They want to see they some rope shaking. They don't want you to like open up a band and put everybody to sleep. You know what I mean? They want you to be like, like making people excited that they're there. It's the first like East Nashville concert summer concert series. You want to like keep things alive. Don't let it die. No, don't don't put people. To sleep don't cover in Hallelujah again for the 80th time. Ugh. Nobody wants to hear that. No. Well, my mom does, but well, okay. she didn't leave the house much. She's not going to go to this concert series, is she? She's headlining. <laughs> She, she is the headliner for the first, the first show. Neato. And well, it's that's be another four reason. Four hours to go. of Hallelujah. <laughs> it's good. Oh, it's gonna be to go. awesome. But we'll put the link below. So if you're an interested band, they are asking for an EPK, which is Electronic Press Kit, tip of the day, uh, which is just songs, video, bio. Send them all the good stuff so that they can know about you and say. Let them know what's going yes. on. Yes. No. They're gonna say yes though. 
All right. Our first, our first list serve subject. La 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 list serve. I just that was, that was really good. That we're gonna start incorporating. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, um, the the this is really Siloam cool. Family Health Center. Yes. I hope I pronounced that right. Uh, they're they're on Eighth Avenue, Franklin Pike, that area. Mm -hmm. uh, but they are they're looking for restaurants, salons, specialty stores in East Nashville to donate to their volunteers. All of their I think all of their staff, whether it's doctors, it's nurses, um, psychiatric doctors, social workers, pastors, interpreters, uh, they've got they've got a bunch of people that come in and donate their time to take care of the the people who can't afford uh, health care. Right. It's, I don't know if you've paid attention, but it's expensive around here. A little bit. Um, but it's primarily for people who are uninsured or are bringing in low income, and so it's really cool because they like take in patients all the time, yeah. and it's completely free, so they do a lot of different fundraisers to help raise money so they can keep that going. And this April 22nd through 26th is National Volunteer Appreciation Week, mm -hmm. uh, and, and the Siloam Family Health Center would like to be able to give something to their volunteers. Uh, they're looking for local businesses who would be willing to donate Gift certificates, 25, 50, 75 bucks, whatever you can do. Uh, 15 would probably go over well if you know, you've know you got reasonably priced merchandise. So uh, they also said last year they got new luggage, basket of salon products, piece of art, and everything was a big hit. So if you've got something and you can you can uh, donate it to them, uh, that would be a really awesome thing to do. Yeah, and they want to get all this by Tuesday, April 23rd. So you have a while to put stuff together. And also if you are... Perhaps a restaurant or bakery, they want to serve light appetizers. So if you would like to cater for them or, you know, for free or at a discount, they're really excited about that. And they want to do, you know, advertising. So whoever donates, you're going to get exposure from that. But it's really cool because yeah. they've been around for 22 years. So yeah, and if you they're can get, obviously doing something If you something can get right. the stuff to them before the 23rd because that's the day of their party. Right. That would be awesome. I mean, like the morning of, I'm sure they could still find somebody to, you know, get a certain thing to. Um, they See, said twenty seven percent yeah. of the patients come from the East Nashville zip code, so that's why they're looking for East Nashville to kind of give back because they're giving to they're helping out a lot of people on the east side and they're hoping that they can get a little help from the east side, people who are a little more fortunate. Yeah. Um so if you got anything, you you should really you should help them out. And we will put they're the link below stuff. so that you can send them stuff, you know, or consider yeah. them. Or just yeah, just Contact think about it. Deb. Let her know. Debbie Barnett. The Director of Volunteer Services and Communications. Ooh, what a title. Well, speaking of titles. Oh, uh, yeah, as soon as I saw this the one, I it was just the title. The title of this one, <laughs> it caught my eye a little bit because there is a new East Nashville music blog, which sometimes I'm like, music blog, sh music blog. But my friend actually has communicated with them and spoke How with them and posted for them. How often do you use the, the word sh music? Um, more often than I would like to admit. That's fair. Uh, but Sorry. it is called Lachlan Springsteen. So LachlanSpringsteen.com. Have fun typing that into. I was your first bar. interested because I'm obsessed with Bruce Springsteen. But apparently, it's because the girl who runs it, she lives in Lachlan Springs. So it's sort of like Nashville, but also Springsteen. But uh, there's not a picture of Bruce. No, we get it. Whenever you open it, but they are interested in not only just providing an awesome music blog so you can read all about music, um, but they're offering discounted ad rates to local vendors. So if you want to advertise online for a cheap price, you could contact Lachlan Springsteen. Um, it's all local and they are so happy to send over specs and rates. Yeah, they'll let you, you know how in. much it is for whatever you're looking for for your business. Uh, and they'd like to point out that they don't ever sell ad space to Google AdWords or anything like that so that everything that they're doing is local. And yep. uh, I think it's a good, that's a good thing. It's really cool, though, because yeah. it's it's an East Nashville music blog, and it's not just, like, occasionally reporting on East Nashville. Like, it's centered there. It's Lachlan Springsteen. You yeah. can put your ads They'll on They'll branch it. out to other parts of Nashville, but they want to focus on the East Side. Yeah. Um, and then they want to they want to get a little bit of local business traffic through there, too. Some traffic. So that, uh, so that maybe you can get some traffic. And even if you don't traffic. feel like advertising, you should go check out their blog. It was actually, I was actually, I'm very critical of internet writing and just of music writing in general and anything that's attached to Bruce. But it was pretty good. They do read, some I, interviews. I read, and you know, it's still, it's the blog thing, I guess. Yeah. I read a blog that was a, wow. 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 Lionhairedgirl.com. You ever heard Brian, of it? I, I you don't ever know heard of, I've it? heard of it, Brian. <laughs> Yeah. It sounds pretty good. Careful. That's all I'm going to say, kids. It sounds pretty good. Careful. Have your hanky, have your hanky next to you, and uh, an extra one to blow your nose into. Wow. And then a basket for the vomit. A basket. 
a whole basket. Not like a woven basket because that's just going to go right <laughs> that's through. That's not going to work. Like my roommate in college Woo! tried to do one night. He, Bad yeah. news. That's a, this story has gone down a long train. Why are we talking Woo! about trains right now? <laughs> I don't know. What is, are you even paying attention today? No. At all? No? No. I'm ready for our business of the week though. You're going to have to wait. What? We're going to go talk to some sponsors, and then we're going to come back for our business of the week. Okay, if you Settle say down so. over there. All right, chilling out. Be right back. Bye. I'll let you know. For a second. If you want to feel the wind blowing through your hair and see the great city of Nashville at the same time, check out Nashville Scooter Tours. Trekking through the downtown streets to Music Row with Nashville Scooter Tours is safe, eco-friendly, and a whole lot of fun. They use Xenon electric scooters that go 55 miles on a single charge. Find out more by calling 615-290-5563 or book your reservation today at nashvillescootertours.com. Well, we made it back. Good, good that was job. a good sponsor message. That's Did you pay twice they've made it through that. No. I'm so proud. And as I a was reward, for most of it. As a reward, we think that you should go visit our business of the week, which is the Village Pub. AKA the Riverside Village Pub, because sometimes there's more and than one. And beer village, garden. But yeah, it is also a garden of beers. Um, they're at, uh, over there in Riverside Village. Yes. Next to Riverside Village. I don't know exactly what that. They're in uh, a village. Riverside and McGavick is where you want to go. They're 1308 McGavick Pike. And they are a 21 and over establishment. So if you are under 21, you will not be getting in the doors. You can just wave at it as you drive by. But you can it stand is. stand in the parking lot. You could. Don't, that's weird. You might get arrested for it, but you can do it. They have a porch too. Very cool. But they are delicious because I was daydreaming about their pretzels the other day. They have these big, like, fluffy, beautiful, giant pretzels. Mm -hmm. And they come with all different dipping sauces, mm -hmm. and you can eat them, and they're amazing. But wait, you can also get all of their sandwiches are inside of a big pretzel. Pretzel sandwiches is what you're saying they, they offer there. Pretzel sandwiches. It's true. Good. When you were a child and you thought, someday, pretzel someday, fish sandwich. pretzel sandwich is going to happen. Sounds like a way to go. It did. I thought that about like, I thought, I also thought the other day like with the Doritos Locos tacos that they have, like if you had told me as a kid that they were gonna combine Doritos and tacos, oh, just mind blown. And that's how I feel about pretzel sandwiches. Two of my favorite foods together. It's weird, when I think about Doritos and tacos together, I think my intestines are blown. Well, that's where we're different. And generally the next morning I'm proven correct. <laughs> womp womp. Yep. But we don't experience that with Village Pub. But in addition, actually our in addition to the week. Village Pub, you did it, not me. Uh, <laughs> In addition to the, the yes. stuffed pretzel sandwiches, they focus on, on serving local craft brew beers. Mm -hmm. uh, they change things seasonally, so you can get something new to drink pretty much every time you go in. Yes. Uh, they serve the Yazoo, the Jackalope, Calf Killer, which is out of uh, East Tennessee? Mm -hmm. Is that the east side? Uh, east, further east. Um, they've also got Fat Bottom, Turtle Anarchy, which I do not know. It's really good. Uh, thank you. Blackstone, I do know, and I uh, know one of the brewers over there, Hans, super good dude, makes Hans. good beer. Um, Hans Solo. Yeah, and then they've got Sweetwater, which is a craft beer company that's getting a little bigger now. Yeah. Uh, French Broad out of Asheville. Good People out of Birmingham, Alabama, Green Man. They're keeping it southern. I like Red it. Red Brick, is that Atlanta? I don't know where Red Brick is from. And then Dogfish Head beers. So they're serving good stuff, and in addition to that, if you're a Predators fan, they have a, a Predators hockey room. They are they, East Nashville's Predators watch party destination. They, it's, it's one room that is dedicated completely to watching Predators games. Mm -hmm. Every one of them that's on TV is on the TVs there. They have the volume cranked up. There's nothing else going on in that room. Yeah. There's just Predators fans. Cheering. Yelling at the drinking, TVs. Drinking, eating pretzels, yeah. being excited. Sometimes directly at Barry Trotz, but not you know? always. But that's cool because it's always cool to do stuff as a community. And sometimes Preds tickets can be really expensive or you just don't feel like going. You don't feel like driving downtown and you're like, yeah. the food is going to be way overpriced. It's, I'm going to pay like seven fifty for like a Miller Lite. Come on, man. And another nine fifty for a piece of bacon on a stick, yeah. which is awesome, but a little, little pricey. Guys. Um, you should go check out the Village Pub. And like, uh, like Kelso here said, they've got a, a fantastic porch out front. They do. And it's, it's, I swear if... if Winter will just go away. It's going to be the spot to be. It is. So you need to go do and, it. And and you can just eat and watch the Predators or not watch the Predators. Yeah, pretty soon we're not going to be watching the Predators, I yeah. think. So, so, you should watch, so you should get there while it's still hockey season. Yeah. And then just continue to stay for the summer because it's going to be awesome. Do a little dance. Wow. It's like a, this is like one of our business week that's like a year-round delight. Oh, yeah, it's beer. It's a beer-round delight. 
She did it. I didn't. That's all we got, kids. Adios, muchachos. See you next week with even more Eastside magic.